Well, now, well, now, welcome back to the Black Alpha and Brother Kush. Okay, man, I want to continue with these reasons why black men are single, right? And this is a this is a serious one, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is a serious one. I talk about this often, but we got to get some personality, bro. We, we need some personality. Listen, there is nothing more attractive than personality. Nothing has more gravitas to a female than personality. Not looks, not fame, not status, not money. Nothing is more appealing to the opposite sex, to women, than personality. Before I get into this, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I drop more videos. If you don't hit the bell icon, YouTube will not let you know I dropped the video. I am not triggering the algorithm, so you gotta come back and check the channel physically to see if I drop something. Otherwise, otherwise, hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when I do drop videos. If you want to support financially, hit me up with $5 at Venmo at the Black Alpha. Cash App at the Black Alpha and PayPal at the real at real Black Alpha at gmail.com. Let me jump right into it. <clears throat> now, there's gonna be one of the moments where the haters are gonna come talk about how I'm bragging. But a couple of months ago, right? No, I'm oh, but I'm tripping, but time be flying so fast. Years ago, I was on somebody else's page commenting in the comment section before I started my YouTube channel. And they was having this conversation about the number of women that men sleep with or something about black men didn't have a lot of options something like that and i was like that's bull man i've dated all kinds of women and i got attacked in fact it was in o'shea duke jackson's comment section i got attacked they called me all kinds of pookies dude like i bet you got like a thug type vibe about yourself too they all like y'all kind you know blah 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 I get so tired of that, bro. And I get tired of saying that most women that I've dated and messed with didn't even know that I had a criminal past. First of all, I dated women before I went to prison. And I dated women after I went to prison. I mean, before, what was the excuse then? I hit women all over the place. You know what I'm saying? In every state, you know, different races before I had a conviction. What's the excuse then? After I came home. Most of the women, if not all the women that I dealt with, didn't even know I had been to prison. What's the excuse? Oh, but it's not just the prison. It's, you know, you say you had gold teeth, you know, you had that, that, that thug vibe and the thug energy. I did. I did. But have you considered that there was more to me than just that? Have you thought about the fact that I'm funny, that I mean, I'm pleasant to be around? I'm non-confrontational. I don't try to control women or own women. Have you thought about these things? Have you thought about the fact that you look at the books on the cover right here? Let me put them up on the other screen so I can actually see them because I can't see them on, on the screen in front of me. <clears throat> Have you thought about the fact that, that books like The Secret Doctrine, The Bhagavad Gita, Secret Teachings of All Ages, The Epic of Galgamesh, and The Mahabharata, that I read these books between the age of 15 and 25. Owned them actually. Between the ages of 15 and 25, I read the I was reading these kind of books. I mean Taoism, you know, the teach, I mean I, the Quran, the Bible, the Torah, the Kabbalah. I mean, have you thought about the fact that maybe there was something more about Brother Kush that that allowed him to be a little more appealing to women despite his thuggish ways and in fact you understand the thug of my time is not the thug of this time we were nothing like these dudes we were we were civilized we just had strong men vibes about ourselves we didn't walk around with our pants hanging off our ass you know with our drawers showing we didn't do stuff like that so truthfully it, it's a it's a misunderstanding if you're thinking about these dudes these days and you're thinking about us in their, in, in their image. We we were nothing like them. We didn't walk like them. We didn't talk like them. You hitting the rap music. Our rappers actually rap. They don't get on the mic and... Nah, blah, blah, you know, blah. You know, I mean, you know, we don't do that, that mumble stuff. But they can't understand nothing they saying. Our rappers use words. 
they had themes and concepts. They talked about things because they knew things. These dudes can't talk about nothing because they don't know nothing. So you got to understand the thug of my generation and this generation are not the same kinds of men. So have you not considered that there was just more to us, to our kind than just street life? That we could sit down and talk to people of different social economic backgrounds, different social political backgrounds, and have a conversation with these people, a pleasant interaction with these people. Have have you not thought about maybe it was that we can allow people to get to know us as human beings because we didn't act like animals? I could talk to women about a lot of different things because I was worldly, people. You see the brother up there painting right now. I didn't paint, but I played instruments. I was a music fanatic. You know, you'd be surprised how impressed women are by my love of music. They like that. You know, I sit down and listen to a well-composed song. I'd be telling like, man, do, listen right here. Do, do you hear that instrument? That's a such and such instrument. Do you hear this? That's a such and such instrument. It, it, right in the background. Do you hear that? That's a such and such instrument. I mean, I got a musical ear. Women look at, listen to me, my passion about music, and they glow. They they get, you know, it. my, my passion for that transfers to them, and now they are glowing. Their energy is high. They are feeling good. They're happy to be in my presence. So maybe it's more than just what y'all think it is. But the one thing I can tell you that you can't be is stiff. You cannot be philosophically isometric. You know what that means? That means your philosophical base is rigid. It has no give and take. It has no balance. It's rigid. I was not philosophically isometric. I read everything, bro. Everything. I mean, I read everything. I was not philosophical, philosophically isometric. What you can't be is, is socially mundane. You can't be dull, you know, um, uninteresting. You can't be this person, right? You have to be an interesting person. You have to be an interesting person. So you got you got to up your game a little bit, my brothers. You got to put some work into yourselves a little bit, my brother. The problem is all y'all believe that all you have to do is just get a job and that's going to be enough. That is not enough because jobs are just a necessity of the world we live in, people. That's like thinking that if you gather food out there in the jungle, that that's enough. We got to eat. Everybody's gathering food. You know what I'm saying? And the job is synonymous with eating these days. Everybody's gathering food. Everybody has a job because we need jobs. But what about you as an individual that make you stand out or stand apart from the rest of the men? What is it about you? Nothing. And that's the problem. You are socially mundane and you are philosophically isometric. And you can't be like that, bro. You cannot be this way, my brothers. You got to get out here and broaden up your concepts, broaden up your worldviews. This is why all you black men that's trapped in this red pill slash MGTOW slash manosphere type of hell that y'all in, this sunken place that y'all in, the reason why y'all can't break out from it is because their, their worldview on the world regarding women is philosophically isometric. They don't have any give and take or bend in that. They honestly believe that women supposed to be one way and one way only in regards to men. Women don't have a right to have their own characteristics. They don't have a right to have their own personalities. And this is a problem because women are human beings. It just, it's just not the way y'all think it is. And I don't know why y'all want that. What y'all want is something y'all shouldn't want. So y'all got to broaden out y'all concepts. Y'all got to elevate yourselves a little bit more. You got to want to study something, become familiar with other things, have other types of interests. Y'all got to have something y'all like. Y'all got to be able to talk about something. You know what I'm saying? You got to have some, something that makes you interesting. There got to be something that makes you interesting. You got to develop a personality. You got to laugh. You got to joke. You got to make fun of yourself. 
You got to be able to point out the, the silly things you've done in the past and make a joke out of it. You got you, you got to be like this. You need a personality. Too many of you brothers don't have a personality. And I know that because everything makes you mad online. Everything makes you mad. Everything other than somebody doing exactly what you want them to do, which is basically hating on somebody else, be it women or pookie, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get mad about it. But we can't be like that. Dig into yourself, develop a personality, man. Don't be philosophically isometric. Don't be socially mundane. Get out here, socialize, meet people, interact with people. It's a skill set. You might be awkward when you first start, but you'll get better. Just keep going. You'll get better. But you need to have something else to talk about other than social economics, because that's what a lot of y'all want to talk about. Nobody want to hear about your job in the real life. You know, you know, y'all made the believe that first thing you ask somebody is what they do for a living. Well, in the real world, people don't ask you that. I've been socializing with men and women for years and they still don't know what the hell I do. And I don't know what the hell they do. We don't ask. In, in the real world, nobody cares about your job. They know you got one. We all got one. But nobody cares about your job. Nobody cares about you going to college. You know how some of you dudes try to work and you went to college in your first conversation? Don't be that person. Be like my friend. Like I said, I got a, I got a personal friend, right? That's like a like, like, like a general manager over, over a very, very luxury, expensive um, hotel chain, right? And um, a brother man gets paid very well, you know? You meet this dude, he ain't gonna mention college, he ain't gonna mention his job, he ain't gonna mention none of that shit. He gonna be out on the dance floor, dancing with the girls, you know what I'm saying? Interacting. He ain't gonna talk about what he got, what he do, nothing. He don't talk about it. He don't talk about it. Although he's making that kind of money, he's still able to go out here and interact with the poppers, the pulpers, rather the poppers, the pulpers, you know what I'm saying? The poor people, I don't know why I say poppers, but the pulpers, he's able to come out here with us and chill. And not make you feel like he's snooty. He ain't trying to be snooty. He ain't trying to rub his salary in your face. None of that stuff. Dudes don't even talk about it. You would never know what he do. You never know that he lives in a little mini mansion. You know what I'm saying? I say mini. It's a big ass house. You never know none of that stuff. Because he don't talk about it. He will not mention it. Learn to be like him. He lets his personality speak for him. He's a funny dude. He likes to joke. He likes girls. You know, he get out here and flirt with women. You know, I mean, this is what he do. You know, he's sociable. You know, he, he knows how to interact with people on all levels, whether they're street people or ghetto people, because, you know, he, he, can, he knows all levels. I'm telling y'all, y'all could do better. Just get a personality, you know. Personality is important. I'm going to say that again. Personality is important. Develop a personality. Everything else is going to fall in line for you. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is going to fall in line. Don't be socially mundane. Don't be philosophically isometric. You know, broaden out your, your philosophical horizon. Study some other stuff. Read up on some stuff, you know. These days, you can download audio books. You don't even have to sit there and read. You can put something on and listen to it. You know, just sharpen your mind up a little bit that to understand that there are other concepts out here. That not only does it give you something to talk about, but they do give you a different understanding on life. Trust me, you read the secret doctrine, you're going to look at the whole world differently. You know what I'm saying? You read the Epic of Galgamesh, you're going to look at your Bible stories differently. When you look at like, like, like the, the Mahabharata, right? It says the book of the beginning. You read that, you're going to look at existence of mankind differently. And if you read the secret teachings of all ages, it's just, that's mind blowing. It's just mind blowing. It touches on all kinds of occult and esoteric and metaphysical teachings and theosophy is all wrapped in one book, Secret Teachings of All Ages. So this is why I move differently, man, because I study different things. Had nothing to do with me being a gangster or going to prison. Had nothing to do with that. It's because I was able to actually develop a personality. I wasn't philosophically isometric. I wasn't socially mundane. I was sociable, funny, I'm, I'm personable, I can deal with people, I'm live and let live, I, I'm not rigid in my beliefs, 
although you, you're supposed to be rigid in your personal dispositions, but my, my beliefs are for me. I'm not rigid for what you want with your life. I'm not rigid for nobody else. This is me. I can, I, my code keep me in check. My code is not to keep you in check. And therefore, I can get along with people who are not quite my flavor. We still can kick it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you just got to you gotta develop a personality. You do that, I guarantee you, you're going to start meeting women. You're going to start meeting women. That's one of the main reasons. I mean, this is this has got to be one of the main reasons why y'all sing. I mean, a very important reason. You know what I'm saying? So this is number three. I got some more I'm going to do, but this is a good one. All of them been good so far, but this is a good one you know what i'm saying like the video share the video subscribe to the channel until next time out of here i'm brother kush aka the black alpha muscle